In this video, I'm going to compare Dynamico to Great White. As some of you may already have seen, Great White seems to be my favorite for my girl, and that seems to be getting me the best results, so we'll see if Dynamico is going to be any better. As part of this test, we're going to use Dynamico and Great White, and I'm going to mix up an eighth teaspoon to about 200 ml water and both grows will get that periodically as the grow happens. For the nutrients I'm going to continue to use the Master Blend three-part tomato formula of the Master Blend, the magnesium sulfate and the calcium nitrate. All will be measured out on the digital scale for accuracy. The seeds for this grow are going to be daikon radish peas and I'm going to use buckwheat just to change it up a little bit so I can watch something else grow. Everything is going to get planted inside these net cups. I'm going to line them with cheesecloth and they'll all get filled with perlite that's been mixed to make sure that it's the same perlite for every cup. They'll all get planted in the A and B side by side grow comparisons. Both have pumps with the same size dripper, same pumps. So the only variable between the two should be the Great White and the Dynamico. The uh, Life Boss is sitting on the side right now <laughs> and she's laughing at me being a tool with the outtakes. And she doesn't like to be on video so you're just gonna have to take my word for it. All right, pH looks actually pretty dang good. Maybe just a hair over six, but I'm happy with that. It's well within range. And because it's exactly the same solution in the other pail, we know that one's gonna be as good as well, but I will double check it. And the result, as we suspected, should be exactly the same because it's the same nutrients, same water. Those look good. And we have 1180 on the left. And this one says 1210 on the right. It's gonna be... So the PPM looks like it's both within range, so we can uh, put the lids on, put our seeds in, and get the irrigation set up. All right, the pails are all planted. We got the daikon radishes back here, the peas, and then we have the buckwheat up front. And the same is gonna be true for the other side. Now we just give them a little light dusting of perlite to cover them up. There we go, they're all covered up, and the irrigation is gonna start tomorrow, which is March the 4th, and we'll watch the progress as they grow up and evaluate the results at the end. As soon as the seeds pop, I will give them the Dynamico and the Great White. For this trial, I did the germination right inside the pails or inside the net cups inside the pails, and it always blows my mind here how quickly the radishes germinate. Literally two days later and everything is up. As mentioned previously, as soon as the seeds are up and they are after five days here, I'll take my great white, mix an eighth teaspoon and apply a dose to every one of the plants. Make sure I wash this thing out before I go on to the Dynamico with the same thing. One eighth teaspoon, 200 ml water, give it a good stir. And what I did notice with this the Dynamico is much more gritty and I'm not sure if that's just a carrying agent or what the case is there but I mixed it up and applied it in the same way over top of the plants. Any leftover will just flow down into the reservoir so that's just going to be part of the solution. Now here's a time lapse of everything growing up. Once that's all done we'll take and evaluate the results. So it's one of my favorite things at the end of this when I put these compilations together is to take and watch the time lapse of the plants growing. On a daily basis you just never notice or never seem to see it but uh, when you put a time lapse together it's pretty evident. I'll start by pulling out the buckwheat from the great white pail and also the buckwheat from the uh, dynamical pail. The side by side of the roots of both plants and both are looking very good but I will say this, you'll notice this, I just tip up the net cups and the uprightness of the great white plants, they both popped up whereas these kind of need to be held. I also noticed some nutrient deficiency on the leaves in this case. The stalk of the plant for the buckwheat was much sturdier with the great white. Next we'll move on to the peas. There's a shot of the roots and you can tell these plants are really good as well. 
and the peas out of the Dynamico pail. Also very white and very healthy. Two side by side are almost totally equal. There's not much difference in these. Uh, there might be a slight edge on the great white for size, but these plants are looking pretty identical. Very happy with both. Next, we'll move on to the daikon radishes, and I'll pull the ones out of the great white. These roots are just mind-blowingly awesome. Lots of little air roots at the top of the plant. A little bit more difficulty getting the uh, dynamica ones out with the irrigation tubing being in the, being in the way. Roots here, again, are totally fantastic. Now the roots side by side on this one look really good and all the plants look really good. Might be a slight edge here on the Dynamico I'm thinking. Roots do look a little bit whiter on the radish and look at the air roots on there. That is pretty phenomenal. Lots of air roots on the great white as well on the left side there. But they're more towards the cup and more of a cluster of roots on that one. Overall, those two plants look very equal. Here's a broad overview of everything, and you can see this is probably the closest trial that I've ever done with the uh, grow pails here so far. The Dynamico seems to be a really solid product. If I take the radishes side by side after I strip the roots off just to leave the edible portion, they're looking pretty close as well. Overall, I'm very pleased with the Dynamico. I'm quite surprised. This is probably the closest trial I've had so far in this pail. The only downside I've noticed with the Dynamico was on the first plants, the buckwheat. There seemed to be a little bit more strength in the plant and the plants seemed to be a little bit hardier with the Great White. Evaluation of the pails after it's all said and done. We'll uh, check out the pH. And the pH looks like it's about 6.2, 6.3 on both the Great White and the Dynamico. Parts per million are 961 with Great White. 981 with the Dynamico and if I take a look in the pails after it's all said and done they're looking pretty clean no foul odors none of that overall I'm very impressed with this whole experiment and I must say I'm pleasantly surprised I'd never heard of Dynamico one of the viewers here had commented they'd like to see a Dynamico trial so that's where this whole test came from for the viewers that are interested I do genuinely like Great White I've had good results with it and it's been so far the best mycorrhizae, trichoderma, bacillus subtilis, whatever that all is, uh, product that I've used. It is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. The only revenue that'll ever come off of this video is, uh, I guess, off of uh, any Amazon affiliate sales. If you do decide to buy some on the links down below or off of uh, the ads when ads show up on this channel. It's my honest opinion and if there is a better way, I would be happy to try it out. Now that being said, the most ideal product for me to use for this type of growing is probably Orca by the same makers of the product Great White. And I did actually reach out to the company and they are going to send me a sample of Orca to test out in these grow pails. So when that does show up, I will run a trial and I will post that video here as well. So that'll be coming up in the near future. If there's a trial you'd like to see me do in these pills, feel free to leave it in the comments down below. I'm happy to learn my growing as well and uh, share the results with you guys along the way. I do try and release a new test video every month and uh, when I do the next video, it's going to show up on the side here. You can come back and check that out. And uh, hopefully we can all learn to grow a little bit more, more better, better. <laughs> hopefully we can all learn to grow a little bit better. Till next time, we'll see ya.